War is inevitable. War never changes. No, this isn't Fallout, but the main character of this tale created Fallout. A man who's dedicated to vengeance, dedicated to destroying those who destroyed him. Those who destroyed this nigga's skin because that nigga looks like Zordon from Power Rangers. The putty patroller himself. Someone strong enough and with enough will to destroy gods themselves. Someone who will fight not only gods, but will literally inhale any amount of smoke available. So strap in, get your snacks, and get ready, because today we are watching Kratos, the Fader of Gods. Real quick though, before we get into this amazing video, a quick message for our sponsor, Likewise. All right, so today's video is brought to you by an app called Likewise. First and foremost, thank you, Likewise, for sponsoring the video. It means a lot because over here, we like to do things genuine, and sometimes companies don't like to sponsor genuine people, but y'all did, and I appreciate that. Now, this app is super, super relevant to us and super important to us in the anime community because it can help us watch the shows that we like. This app will basically tell you where you need to go to watch things that you want to watch, and it doesn't just pertain to movies or TV shows. It'll also point you in the right direction when it comes to podcasts or even books. There's a whole way for you to set up your profile and choose all of your interests so it can help you specifically with what you need. Something that bothers me a lot about apps like this usually is that they won't tell you things pertaining to streaming services, but likewise does. They show you the things that are on Netflix, the things that are coming, the things that are going. It'll show you what's on Hulu. It'll show you what's on HBO Max or Disney Plus. It covers literally everything there's also a whole feed where there's other users like you that are talking about different shows they like or asking questions that maybe you know the answers to but it's awesome because you can also ask like-minded questions about any of the shows that you're watching i think my favorite thing is the group setting though because you're able to go into a group and create events that you host yourself this app is literally a lifesaver it's crazy because i had it downloaded before i even got this sponsorship i'm so grateful that they reached out to me because not only only do I get to talk about an app that I've been using in my personal life, but it's an opportunity for me to share it with all of my viewers. So if you click down in the description, you'll see a link where you can go and download Likewise, and you'll be able to use this link to help me and also help yourself by downloading an awesome app. Likewise, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys and gals, I hope y'all got y'all snacks ready because this is going to be a long one. I have notes here for every game from Ascension to God of War 3. And I know, hold on, relax. Because I know y'all like, Sin, Sin, what about God of War 4? What about God of War 4? Relax. Because I'm going to talk about Kratos and the boy. As long as y'all get this video to 100,000 views and 8,000 likes. And I know y'all can because y'all been supporting the shit out of me lately. By the way, I hit 100K recently. Yo, thank y'all so much for that. I don't know what we're at now by the time I'm recording this, but hey, man we got big things coming this year 2022 and all that but let's get straight into it so we start off with this little nigga kratos and his brother deimos now kratos is a spartan i know y'all remember the spartans you feel me 300 and all that you remember, we are sparta you remember remember he kicked the, the dude down the hole and all that feel me big shields spears and all that you know what i'm saying so kratos he was a spartan him and his brother are always fighting each other they dueling kratos is trying to get his brother right it's like when you got a little brother he kind of soft so you beat him up i know that's kind of abuse and all that and later on in life they might not like you that much but kratos didn't give a fuck because he was beating the shit out of his brother but it's kind of messed up because there was this prophecy basically that said the marked one would destroy olympus now this man deimos had a birthmark and later kratos kind of copied his birthmark and got tattoos to match so at some point in the story we find out that this nigga aries came down to get the marked one deimos now i ain't gonna lie though when the prophecy said the marked one i instantly thought of the west coast because y'all know how west coast niggas be like <laughs> Yo, you marked out. You marked out. I was like, it makes sense. Kratos was beating this nigga up. That nigga's a bitch. But I was wrong, though. It was literally because of a birthmark. <sighs> I mean, it is neither near or there. We find out later, though, that he wasn't really the marked one. It was Kratos. But whatever. Ares steals Deimos away, and Athena tells this nigga Kratos sorry for some reason. Now, I'm instantly confused because I'm like, why the fuck are you saying sorry to me? You just stole my brother. Y'all niggas just came in like CPS. Like, I'm a bad parent. Took my brother from me after a war just happened. Ares hitting us and all that there's blood all on us and you steal my brother away now kratos is yelling like no Damo. well hold on my bad his voice wasn't that deep yet he was like <clears throat> no <laughs> but they took this nigga damos away and after that 
Kratos was kind of like on a war path the rest of his life. He was just slaughtering niggas to Sparta. He was an angry nigga, bro. Basically, this whole story could be wrapped up in angry man is so angry he doesn't want to die. Like that, that's basically what happens. But anyways, the killing spree, sorry, killing spree starts after this man Kratos slaughters tons of people for Sparta. But there's this one time that they're about to go against somebody that might be a little bit, tiny bit too strong for him. And this is the only time in the story that I was like, not my nigga Kratos, bro, because my nigga Kratos starts sucking Ares dick off immediately. Like, I mean, Gawk, Gawk 3000, like really slobbering this nigga Ares talking about, Ares, if you save me and my people, I will be a slave to you. Like, bro, yelling up to the guys. I'm like, who are you yelling at, bro? The nigga Ares ain't gonna hear you. But I was wrong. Cause right as he started slobbering this nigga Ares off, here he comes, the sky splits. You just see Ares fall down. And he's like, I give my body to you. And I'm like, pause, nigga, you on your knees talking about I give myself to you? In what way? What do you, you mean? mean but that's neither near or there, you feel me? This man, Kratos, literally becomes Ares' minion at this point. Starts slaughtering countless people for this nigga Ares. And I'm like, okay, so you out here sucking God's dicks for power. This is gonna bite you in the ass. But there's this one part where he comes up to this temple and there's this old ass hag in front looking like the bitch from like <laughs> One Punch Man that gave the prophecy. Bitch out here looking like Shorty on the uh, the crystal ball from Dragon Ball shit. <laughs> old ass bitch though. She like, hey, and I'm gonna translate this to some hood shit for y'all. <laughs> She was like, nigga, don't go in there. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> That's not what you want. This nigga Kratos was like, what do you mean, old ass bitch? Pushed her out of the way. He's like, I'm going in here. This is my destiny. So this man walk in here on some, this is my destiny shit. Nigga acting like ass catch him. Like, like to catch them is my call. Like, bro, really walks in this motherfucker. I'm like, bro, I don't know what's in this temple, but you should have listened to this old bitch. The whole premise of the story happens after he goes in here because he slaughters all these people in here. <sighs> And then when he's done slaughtering them all, he looks down and he killed his fucking wife and his daughter. This man, Ares, set this man up to kill his people. Basically, in Ares' mind, he was like, all right, if I have him slaughter his wife and daughter, there's nothing else that's going to be in this man's way. I literally can just have him do my bidding because now there's nothing to stop him. Of course, Kratos wasn't too happy about this. And he said, Ares, I will have vengeance for this. I ain't gonna lie, Kratos' voice actor goes crazy. Like, <laughs> let's talk about that. But anyways, this is the craziest part of this moment, though, because the whole time I'm looking at this man Kratos and I'm like, bro, why isn't he pale yet? Like, he's gray as shit in the games. Like, why isn't he gray? And then I realized that they cursed him, that the reason this nigga is gray like this is that he has the ashes of his wife and his daughter on his body. They stained this nigga's body with their ashes. The whole time time you play the game and he out here looking like Zordon, looking like a putty ranger, like this man out here looking like dark side and shit. Like the reason why he's gray like this is because he has his wife and his daughter's ashes painted on his body like a silhouette. You know that figure of speech like I will bathe in the blood of my enemies. No, they bathe this nigga in the ashes of his family, like literally. So at this point, this nigga Kratos is on the path of destruction. He's like, yo, I am going to get vengeance for this bitch ass nigga Ares. Like the fact that he did this and he didn't pay for his half of the bill when we he went out to eat the other night. I am going to punish this nigga Ares. Gotta war my ass. I'm about to switch it around and he gonna be the god of raw. Cause I'm about to I'm a raw. That was too far. All right, pause. That was crazy. But anyways, at this point, we fast forward a little bit and this man Kratos is having visions and shit. He don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. This man Ares has the Fury sisters impersonating this nigga's wife. This man Kratos fucking the shit out of the Furies thinking that he's fucking his wife. It's not even his wife. This man is literally in La La Land in a fake world. Ares had this man in a fake world trying to keep him under control i ain't gonna lie the one fairy sister that was a person named his wife was kind of bad like i might have had the cracker too you feel me they call it a fairy sister but they gonna call me the fairy brother the way i'm a ferociously fairy all right let me calm down but i'm down bad right now Anyways, whole time though, this is this whole fake shit. Now this man Kratos is on a path of, you know, revenge, but he also wants to get rid of these stupid ass visions too. So he's just doing stuff for the gods. He ends up smoking this basilisk and he ends up defeating some Persians. Now at this point, he's yelling up to the gods like, is this all you want from me? And boy, were we wrong, bro. Because as this man Kratos pulls up to the underworld Where a little bit later, he sees bitch. this nigga Persephone. Now Persephone is Hades' wife. Now to be the wife of Hades, if y'all saw the way Hades looked in this game, you have to 
be down bad. Like, there's no way you swipe right on Tinder on this nigga Hades, bro. Like, Hades was out here looking disgusting as fuck, bro. Bro look like a butcher in a fucking deli. Like, I'm not even playing with y'all. This man would look like Shao Kahn with the mask on, but obese. I know y'all wondering, well, how did Hades end up dying? How did he control the underworld? That nigga had a heart attack, too much fucking cholesterol in him. Fat bitch. This man literally out here looking like pig guy with a mask. <sighs> Anyways, let me stop flaming this nigga, but he pulls up on Persephone and I'm like, this bitch is bad. How is she that down bad? This bitch is bad. Persephone tricks this nigga though. And she tells him like, look, you can see your daughter, but you got to basically give up all of this stuff to this tree. So he sticks his blades into this tree, gives us some of his health, his magic, all that shit. He goes in to see his daughter. Now his daughter is really there. And she's like, daddy, never leave me again. I'll never leave you, daughter. The whole time Persephone was tricking this nigga to stop him so she can make sure that he wouldn't stop her. Because see, Persephone and Atlas had an idea to basically destroy the world. Now, Atlas is the Titan that got tasked with holding up the entire world. Like, what kind of shitty ass job is this? Like, bro, this nigga Atlas literally is holding up the entire world on his back. Yo, he put the team on his back, literally. Now, the way that Zeus did these Titans, and we're gonna talk about that at some point, but yo, he did these niggas dirty. To be fair though, Kronos tried to do him dirty. Feel me? That, that, that's Zeus's dad, by the way. Zeus is part Titan, part God. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's confusing. But anyways, this is where we get some savage ass savagery boy this man kratos you're literally in a mini game where he has to decide if he's going to leave his daughter behind to stop persephone and of course you have no choice but to button mash circle to push your daughter off you like she's grabbing you daddy stop push daddy please push the last time you push her hard as shit stiff arm the fuck out of her like you're defending on the o-line bro boom push her off i'm like oh my god he run up on persephone ends up going to atlas and he stops the whole shenanigan that he got going on yo i'm not gonna lie bro the funniest part though is how he talks to these bitches in this game because bro when he first pulled up on persephone he walked straight up to her and he's like where's Where my, daughter, my witch? daughter bro i ain't gonna lie it reminded me of the scene in scary movie bro in the beginning when shorty and her friends were in high school and the homeless guy is like yo can i have a dollar <laughs> and they're trying to diss him and then shorty's like can't you just see he's hungry she gives the homeless dude a dollar they walk away he smacks her with a sandwich and says i said a dollar, dollar bitch, bitch. <laughs> i ain't gonna lie you i know that's mad off topic yo but that's literally how we talk to recent where's my daughter, my daughter which <laughs> Oh my God. But anyways, after this, this man Kratos is on a ship. He smokes a Hydra. And at this point, he's like, look, man, I just smoked this Hydra for y'all. What else do you want me to do? And Athena's like, the last thing we need you to do to get rid of these visions is to smoke Ares. Ares is tearing up Athens right now. So Athena tasks Kratos with going to smoke in Ares. This is the first God that he smokes in the entire franchise. So he pulls up to Athens and we see this giant ass Ares. Now he walks up and he's like talking heavy to Ares like, yeah, this is going to be your funeral, bitch. Like I'm about to bury you, bitch. Stupid ass bitch. Like he's talking heavy to this nigga. Who Some this? chick walks up. She bad though. I ain't gonna lie. She got this like see-through dress on. Yo, little, little fatty this? in the back. Little wagon and all that. Little see-through thong and all that. Nah, I'm just claiming. But she walk up on this man Kratos and touch his face, right? Trying to like see his vision. Who Yo, he God? choked this bitch. She's huh? like, stay out of my head, bitch. Grabs her by the throat and tosses her. Bro, this man Kratos gets domestic throughout this entire franchise franchise bro i'm not gonna lie that's where chris brown learned his shit from all right oh that was too far all right that was too far we'll lie. anyways at this point they tell him that he has to get pandora's box that apparently has some power in it that can kill gods but later on we get to a point where aries and this man kratos are about to fight but this man kratos is in a vision right now aries is really on some like kind of entitled shit but i get it because he really gave this nigga kratos his power aries was kind of talking to him he's like yo how you gonna suck my dick for me to give you powers give me the best blowjob of my life dick riding the shit out of me and then you're gonna try to betray me nigga me bro this is some vile shit this man aries took kratos power back in a vision and then smoked this nigga's wife with the same blades that he took back i'm like yo this nigga aries is different i gonna lie i should have made this video after him nah i ain't gonna lie he did get smoked but anyways in this next part athena helps this man kratos out gives him some power he turns giant as shit and picks up this like god sword that's there this gold sword ends up smoking this nigga aries with it but it didn't even matter because he smokes aries right now at this point aries is done he's out of the franchise he's done finito finished but he did all that for zilch for zero because they didn't take his visions away athena was like bitch we said that we was gonna forgive you but we never said we was gonna take the visions away no man should be without visions of terrible atrocities that they've done now at this point my spotty sense is kicked in and i'm like my mama always told me not to trust these bitches bro he should have not trust these bitches so at this point this man kratos was like look man if i gotta live with these visions i'ma just off myself and he literally
literally tried to smoke himself. But that didn't turn out well. This nigga still was alive after that. Now, fast forward a little bit, bro. The next time we see some atrocious shit is when this nigga Zeus pulls up on his mom, right? So his mom is in here basically on her deathbed. She's telling him, like, you gotta get your brother Deimos back, Kratos. And then I'm like, okay, okay. I ain't gonna lie. First thing I thought was, <laughs> she might low key a milk. Yeah, like, nah, I'm just playing. But, anyways, I'm like, okay, we gotta get Deimos back. But his mom is like, I gotta tell you who your father is. And I'm like, oh shit, we about to find out about this nigga Kratos' dad? But she's like, I know if I tell you who your dad is, what's gonna happen to me? And I'm like, what's gonna happen? Are you not gonna be able to collect child support anymore? Like, what, what's going on? So she whispers in his ear and tells him, you know, that your dad is Zeus. And then she turns into a monster. Now, I know you're probably thinking, like, oh my god, bro, he already had to kill his wife and daughter no way that he'll have to kill his own mom <sighs> but you'd be wrong because this nigga has to smoke the monster and indirectly because his mom is the monster he smokes his own mom this nigga kratos is a fucking demon what are they going to stain his skin with now after he killed his mom what are they going to like stain it with the period blood of his <laughs> I've been wilding out in this video. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, that, that's besides the point. So he pulls up on Deimos after this, and Deimos is clearly mad because he feels like Kratos has betrayed him. He's like, you've left me here all this time. They start scrapping. His brother is mad as a bitch. But y'all might remember before, like in the past, he smoked the Furies. Well, the God of Death, who was the father of the Furies, I again confused anyways but this harpy ass nigga looking like he came with harpy's feather duster from Yu-Gi-Oh. i ain't gonna lie this man pulled up and stole deimos in the middle of their fight how you scrapping somebody and then you steal the nigga brother in the middle of the fight this is the second time this nigga deimos got stole god damn but anyways this man kratos is down bad at this point but he's like yo i gotta save my brother i gotta make up for lost time so he jumps down into this pit now deimos is fighting the god of death kratos jumps in the fight and helps him out at this point you know what's about to happen next bro these niggas the made up his brother Deimos is like a spartan never falls on his back right brother he's like right so he's like the fight isn't over they pull up on this nigga and you know what's about to go down nigga you know if you made up with your brother and it's just you him and another nigga <laughs> fight back nigga fight back yo they start jumping the shit out of this nigga so what happened next was kind of fucked up so the god of death turns into his true form at this point and he grabs this nigga deimos right now the first time kratos jumped and pushed this nigga deimos out the way so he could get smoked but you know kratos built different he ate that but then he grabs deimos and smacks him on the side of a cliff boom and he slams him down boom and then you just see a lifeless body bro as this nigga corn husk deimos just lays there literally looking like a toothpaste tube it just had the last of its nutrients drained from it. <laughs> this nigga just laying there lifeless. Now, this nigga Kratos is mad as hell, starts raging out at this point, and he smokes the god of death, bro. He killed death. How do you death death, bro? That shit don't even make sense. Bro, how do you kill the nigga that kills niggas? Oh my god. Now, after this, though, Athena pulls up and is like, you're ready to be a god, and touches this nigga and turns him into a god. So he goes to Olympus. Yo, the next time we see this man Kratos, he at Olympus sitting on a throne with a bunch of bad bitches around him. I'm in one big room full of bad bitches one big bro, bro this is bitch one bitch two bitch three you feel me they just there now we're gonna talk about bitches later because yo in a little bit we're gonna talk about this mini game that i know y'all are waiting on me to mention you feel me oh we're gonna talk about it <laughs> trust me believe me if you're at this point and you haven't heard me talk about it you know i'm gonna talk about it relax so anyways yo he, he's talking heavy to athena though because basically what kratos has been doing to make up for lost time is he's been you know periodically helping sparta out punish everybody around him he's like oh yeah i I don't have no family anymore so i'ma just help out my peoples you feel me give it back to the community and all like he a real nigga now athena hating you feel me <laughs> really also player hating shit she's talking about no kratos that's enough he's like out of my way bitch like he push her off the way <laughs> He be talking heavy. So Athena's talking heavy back though. She's like, okay, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'm the one that gave you the power of a god. Remember that. So he's like, whatever. He jumped down. He go to help Sparta. Same situation where Ares was before. You remember Ares was all big and shit. Now Kratos is the god of war. Punching nigga. Beam. Boom! So Athena comes down and creates this giant out of this like statue to fight Kratos. Kratos is like, you would defy me, Athena? So him and this big ass thing is fighting. Zeus pulls up though. He's like, the only way that you can defeat Athena at this point is if you put all the powers of a god into the blade of Olympus. The blade that I used against the Titans. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. 
and then Kratos thought the same thing. He's like, nigga, why you trying to be my pappy now, bro? Don't try to be my dad now. This man Zeus is one of those niggas that wait till their son is like 40 and they try to be in their life. Like, nigga, I don't care. Don't come try to talk to me now when your blood pressure's high and your fucking liver's failing on you and like you're about to die in the next five years. I don't give a boy. Just don't be a piece of shit. Don't try to be my dad. This nigga Zeus talking about, let me help you out. So I knew it was some bullshit. So Kratos goes and put all the power of the god that he has into this blade. Now, as he's fighting and defeating this big ass statue, Zeus comes down and picks the blade up. He done tricked this nigga. That nigga Zeus is not the pappy. If that nigga Zeus went on Mori, bro, he'd have been like, in the case of 48 year old Kratos, Zeus, you are not the father. Like, literally, that's literally what happened. This man starts scrapping Zeus at this point, and I ain't gonna lie, he was getting punished because he's not a god no more. Literally, work. Beam, 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 beam. And after Zeus punished this nigga Kratos, he used the Olympus blade and he kills all of Sparta. Literally commits genocide and wipes out the entirety of this nigga's people. Like, bro, how can this get any worse? And then that nigga Zeus broke Kratos' neck. Literally got this man laying there stinking. This man Hades came and grabbed them up. I'm like, oh, it's over for this nigga. So he goes to the underworld and that's where he meets Gaia. Now, Gaia is like the Earth Titan, pretty much. <sighs> The Titans are not like on some Attack on Titan shit, by the way. They ain't Titan shifters and all that, but they like Titans. Like the people that were before the gods. Like, it, it's a lot, bro. I, I ain't no fucking, a, a, fucking what, is, what is it called? Mythology class, nigga? You can Google that shit. But anyways, the story goes like this. This bitch ass nigga Kronos seen this prophecy where his kids were going to overthrow him. Now, instead of trying to be a good dad and, you know, I don't know, beat the prophecy, he's like, I'm just going to eat my kids. So we had his bitch literally giving him his kids to eat. So what does his bitch do? She he takes Zeus, gets an eagle to fly him to an island where Gaia is, where Gaia raises him, and then she gives Kronos a brick. Now, this is what made me mad about this part, because it's like, how did you think that a f***ing brick was a baby boy? Why are you eating a brick? Caught a brick, have a brick, whole brick. Hey, like gave him a brick wrapped up in a blanket and you ate it thinking it was Zeus. <sighs> niggas god so anyway zeus grows up and he wants to smoke all the fucking titans because he's mad about what his dad did and he wants to like basically run the humans now after this this man is in the underworld trying to get out and he ends up seeing this nigga atlas and he's about to get smoked by this big ass nigga atlas this man atlas got fucking shaquille o'neal hands about to squish kratos but kratos is like stop atlas i want to stop zeus and then Atlas tells us the rest of the story. So basically, the gods were smoking the Titans. Like, they were smoking on that Titan pack, that Zaza pack, that, you feel me? <laughs> the Titan pack was hitting. This man Zeus created the Blade of Olympians during this fight, and he used it to smoke the Titans. We're gonna call that shit the Titan Smoker for the rest of the story, bro. It's not the Blade of Olympus no more. That is the Titan Smoker. The Titan Inhaler, nigga. That nigga, oh my god, he rolled the Titans up in a pack. Literally every one of them niggas. So anyways, after this, Kratos realizes he has to go to the Sisters of Fate to change his fate because the nigga is smoked in this timeline, so he's got to change what happened. He be wilding on everyone, bro. He yo, he walks up to the Sister of Fate. He's like, move out of my way, bitch. Bro, she got a titty Ooh. out and all that. I ain't gonna lie. Some of these bitches be bad for real. They be having me on a full chub. Like, I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, this nigga starts to fight in this mob. Baba boy. Fate, right? One of the Fate sisters. She's like, you can't change your fate, Kratos. I control your fate. So she takes him to where him and Ares was in, you feel me, fighting on that big ass sword. And this nigga smoked fate. He killed fate. Like, oh my God. How do you kill fate, bro? If you're fated to die, how do you smoke the thing that fated you to die, bro? He literally smoked fate. Then he goes upstairs in the same room and the other fate sisters there, this big birth, the bitch, this looking like the trailer park trash version of the fate sisters, looking like the big bitch from Borderlands 2. <laughs> Big bitch had her titties out and all that. He ends up impaling her chest, giving her a boob job. Like, this nigga really smoked fate. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga's different. So at this point, he had to redo what happened before. So he ends up fighting Zeus again. But he tricks this nigga Zeus because he starts losing. He's like, yo, Zeus, I laid out my arms to you. I can't, you feel me? He can't, I can't do this, nigga. I give it up. And he's like, put me out of my misery. And Zeus is like, I'm gonna put you out of your misery. But your torment has just started. He goes to attack him. This man Kratos, hmm, parry, beam, beam, starts mixing this nigga bro really rocking this nigga boom boom rock rock smack smack he used the blades and impaled zeus's arms and he's about to kill him bro with the blade athena shows up she blocked the attack 
He's like, yo, move, Athena. Don't stop me. Yo, she getting away with her dumb ass, bro, and ends up getting impaled. He turned Athena into a shish kebab. Literally stuck the blade of Olympus. I'm sorry, the Titan smoker through this bitch's body. So Athena's like a spirit the whole rest of the story at this point. And I am like, oh my God, bro. But anyways, after he kills Athena, he uses the fate bitches to change the fate of the past with the Titans. He's like, look, let's go back to my time and we gonna smoke these niggas on Olympus together. And that is what begins God of War 3. This nigga, instead of the Titans getting smoked, takes them all to his time he's literally climbing olympus on the back of titans the first nigga that this nigga has to fight though in god of war 3 is this nigga poseidon bro he fights the god of the sea there's a whole mini game where you're literally beating the shit out of him and you break his neck bro you're mixing the gods bro this nigga kills like every god on olympus bro in this game like it's literally crazy that's why i call this nigga the fader of gods bro because he fades them niggas bro literally like smokes them it don't matter who you are so he's working beside him boom boom weave weave boom boom broke his neck after this every time he defeats a god by the way the world goes crazy like the sea is literally imploding on itself waves crashing everywhere smacking up and down like bro i ain't gonna lie i look like sea world out this bitch bro i'm gonna keep it all the way clean like i was looking for free willy like it, it was wild so he ends up getting the blades of exile from athena after this and then he goes to the underworld to find and fight hades so he ends up fighting this nigga hades in the underworld yo he is smoking this nigga right but this the crazy Yo, we're on a Hades pack too. But this is the crazy part. He takes this nigga Hades weapons and then he uses his own weapons to steal Hades' soul out of him. Literally stole this nigga Hades' soul. At this point, all the evil spirits here are flying everywhere. Everything is going crazy. He's destroying the earth as he smokes these niggas. He smoked this nasty pig god ass nigga. They'll punish them. How you take another nigga's weapons? And it's not the first or last time he did this in this game, bro. This nigga is different, bro. Come on, wait, clean. Anyways, after this, he pulls up on Hephaestus, this ugly ass nigga, bro. I don't be roasting a lot of characters because I know y'all be getting tired of me roasting everybody as much as I do. But, bro, Hephaestus, please bring your ass here, bro. Because there's no way I'm not talking about your droopy face ass, pudding face ass. Bro, why your lip hanging like that? Uh, skateboard ramp lip looking ass nigga. And then you got one blind eye and then one eye that looking off to the right. Hottest seat champion, 360, no scope, eyes looking ass nigga. Like, bro, your field of vision with that one eye is crazy, bro. Cyborg eye looking ass. Nigga. And then you got super scoliosis. You in this nasty ass corridor your whole life, nigga. Bent over, nigga. Got a nasty ass hunchback, boy. Look like you got a turtle shell on your back, nigga. Bowser back looking ass, nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga is literally nasty. Out here looking like, my precious. Smeagol looking at nigga. Fuck wrong with this nigga, man. Anyways, anyways, ugly ass Hephaestus is down here. He's like, yo, was Hades dead? Crazy. But anyways, Gaia is in the way of you getting past to get to the next situation ship that you gotta get to, right? So I'm like, okay, just jump over her arm. This nigga Kratos is like, vengeance is mine. And he kills Gaia just so we can get by. Or so we thought. But anyways, he literally was trying to kill her just to get by, bro. This nigga, bro. Anyways, this nigga Percy's this big ass nasty titan. He ugly as shit, by the way. Kronos is mad ugly too, but Percy's is an ugly nigga, bro. He grabs Helios and he like throws and slams him into a wall. So you walk up on Helios, who was like the god of the sun and shit. This man is down there, down bad. It looks like that one scene where Deku was just in the crater, destroyed after that one like exam part. Remember he in the tracksuit with his body all mangled? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this man, Helios legs looking like spaghetti noodles right now. You walk up to this nigga and you literally rip his head off to use it as a lantern bro he rips this nigga here we go <laughs> rips his head off bro like he was trying to rip a baby like this nigga is different after this yo we pull up on hermes yo we literally walk up to this nigga and we like hey bro them shoes on your feet nice bro what size is them i ain't gonna lie them shits are like my size because this nigga kratos literally cuts this nigga's legs off bro this nigga kratos is not playing with this nigga bro literally stole his feet how you still a nigga feet <sighs> Bro, this nigga is just smoking niggas at this point. But then in this next part, we got this fucking drunk ass bitch Hera, bro. And this big ass nigga Hercules, he coming out on some envious shit talking about, you were always the Zeus's favorite. They had me go get an apple while they made you a god. Nigga, do I look like I get groceries? They turned me to a DoorDash driver. This nigga out here getting produce for the gods and shit. You, you becoming a god of war. So this nigga mad, but he got these big ass kystuses on, these big ass gloves, these lion gloves, yo. He's trying to swing, yo. When you end up punching this nigga you rock him right you mixing his ribs boom stab him in the shit you start grinding this shit up pause one of the gloves fall off yo you pick the glove up put it on your hand you punch the nigga so hard he flies out of 
the other glove. Then you pick that one on, and then he start punishing this nigga, bro. How you punch a nigga out of his glove? Bro, he's on top of him, mixing this nigga. Bam, 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 bam. You start punching this nigga dead in his face. You end up turning that nigga's face into a demigod smoothie. Punch this nigga down into the ground and shit. Oh my God, yo, this nigga is different. I ain't gonna lie, after that, yo, I use them gloves for mad long, because you could like use the weapons you got. I use them shits forever, right? <laughs> Come on, we clean with you. Anyways, after this, we spin the block on Hephaestus, and we basically tell this nigga like, yo, we about to go to Pandora. We like, we about to go smoke your daughter. <laughs> we on that Zaza pack, that daughter pack, that Pandora pack, that... <laughs> Pandora pack hitting different, nigga. But Hephaestus is like, bro, leave my daughter out of this. Look, look, I'm gonna make you this strong ass weapon. Just go to Tartarus and get this stone for me. So we end up going to Tartarus and this nigga Hephaestus tried to trick us because there is a stone here, but guess who else is here? This nasty nigga Kronos. Who this man Zeus made carry a mountain on his back through a desert. Got the worst skin I've ever seen. This nigga Kronos looks like Kevin Durant, bro. Somebody put some lotion on this nigga. So we end up fighting this nigga Kronos and he eats us, bro. Literally eats Kratos. Kratos falls into this nigga's intestines and you just see this nigga Kronos going, ugh, ugh, grabbing his stomach. Then you see the blade of Olympus, the Titan Smoker sticking through this nigga's stomach. He's he ripping through this nigga's intestines. The intestines come out look like he got some gummy worms. Like, <laughs> yo, he got the gummy worms sticking out, bro. Nigga like a pinata. Bro, he cut through this nigga's stomach after being eaten, bro. Oh my God, bro, this nigga is different. I ain't gonna lie, at that point, we stabbed this nigga Kronos dead in his forehead and we're smoking on that. <sighs> Kronos pack, nigga, that Kronos pack is hitting. Everybody in the pack in this video, nigga. Anyways, so we find out Hephaestus tried to betray us, literally tried to get us killed by Kronos. So we smoke this nigga, end up shocking him, and then we use this big ass thing in the middle of the room to impale him through his stomach. I'm like, oh my God. I mean, it's only right that he got smoked, bro. His life is literally terrible. He's in this small ass corridor, just making Aphrodite's out of clay and shit, trying to make his wife like, this nigga is down bad. So then we run into drunk ass Hera again, bro. This bitch needs to AA meeting, bro. And she's dirty as hell. Like, yo, go wash your clothes. Like, how your teeth that white but your body nasty like that? Like, bitch, you look disgusting like you just been playing in mud all day. Like, what you getting a fight with a little kid, but it was a mud fight? Like, what is going on? Like, this bitch is like she just cleaned horses off. <laughs> I don't know, man, but Hera nasty as shit. Like, she ends up talking crazy, but we're about to walk away, and then Hera goes, nigga, you're a bad dad. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, she really said some shit about, like, him being a dad and shit, but she really was calling this nigga a deadbeat. I'm gonna come all the way clean, and then I was like, damn, nigga, like, I mean, you kind of spitting, though. That nigga is a terrible dad. He did kill his daughter, but this nigga Kratos was not trying to hear that shit, because he grabbed her by her throat and broke her neck. Literally grabbed it, and you just hear, and he just breaks her neck and leaves her there. Damn, bitch, if you had washed your dress. Like, anyways, see, after he punishes this bitch, we run into Pandora. And Pandora trying to throw some coochie at us. Yo, talking about, well, I'm an adult. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> let me chill out. Cause Kratos started seeing, like, her as the daughter and all that. So you feel me? Like, let me stop wilding. You feel me? But I'm just saying, she's trying to give us some of that Pandora's box. You get it? You feel me? Some of that box. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> all right, that, that was corny. All right, that was corny. Anyway, so he got mad to test the Pandora, like I said. So Zeus takes advantage of this and shows up and grabs her. This man Kratos like put her down, and Zeus is like, all right, bet, and throws this bitch. I thought this bitch was about to fall into a pit of nothingness, but she ends up landing on a rock. At this point, though, you get the boxing Zeus on his sword. Y'all are really mixing, like on some like prime Mike Tyson versus. Blah, blah, blah. I don't even know Muhammad Ali. I don't know, nigga. Y'all boxing up. Hmm, hmm. Weave, weave. Bam! You start mixing his guts up though. Pause. That was crazy. But anyways, you beep, 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 uppercutting the shit out of this nigga, bro. Got this man casually boxing the best god in the world, nigga. This man, Kratos is built different. So he ends up getting into the situation after this where he has to sacrifice Pandora to basically get what's in this box to have the power to defeat gods. Now, Zeus ain't having that. Zeus is like, oh, man, <laughs> you're about to fail her just like you failed your daughter, Kratos. Like, he's talking heavy. Kratos is tight, though, and ends up throwing Pandora into the thing to get Pandora's box. And then he grabs Zeus starts punching the shit out of this nigga then he goes to the box and he opens it <sighs> and it was empty there was nothing in there i was like bro what the fuck going on this man zeus like ended in another failure <laughs> just like before just like when you failed your daughter <laughs> he starts talking crazy so at this point he's mad as hell and just starts fighting this nigga zeus now him and zeus are fighting at the top of olympus right now y'all remember when gaia died like when we cut her arm and she fell and shit bro gaia is not dead so gaia's tight as hell gaia comes back she grabs mount olympus like i'm gonna kill both of you both of you should be dead first thing i'm thinking is gaia you got a big wagon on you like what are we talking about? But anyways, Gaia gotta take her old ass somewhere, bro. Like, bitch, just die. Like, don't you got Alzheimer's or something? Like, god damn. Like, 
Like, bitch, you the reason this nigga doing this anyway. You told us that. You raised this nigga. Like, bro, who raised these niggas? Gaia? Gaia did. Like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Why you raise a nigga that was gonna take over humanity and make, you feel me, the humans not be in peace? Stupid bitch. I hate niggas, bro. It's always bitches for. I'm just saying. But anyways, it is what it is. So at this point, Gaia's about to try to kill these niggas, but they jump into her arm and they end up going into where her heart is at. Now, they're scrapping in her aorta chamber where her heart is, literally punishing each other while she's having a heart attack. He ends up impaling through Zeus and killing Gaia in the process. Now I'm thinking, oh, this nigga Zeus is dead. <sighs> And I was right, but this nigga's spirit wasn't. This nigga's spirit comes out of Zeus. Like the body is there lifeless, but his spirit is here. This nigga is choking the shit out of Kratos and ends up choking this nigga so much that Kratos goes into a vision. Bro, he choked this nigga into a dream. He ends up finding out that the power that was in Pandora's box was hope. So he's like, oh, I have hope. I can, I can fight a god. And at this point, he starts mixing the ba -ba -ba spirit. Nigga turn into the Ghostbusters. Starts punishing the spirit of Zeus. Smacking this nigga. Boom. Boom, weave, spin attack. Boom, boom, weave, spin attack, uppercut. Bro, he beat the spirit back into this nigga Zeus. And then he started beating the Baba. out of Zeus, bro. There's this part right before you start beating Zeus up, you look at the swords in your hands. He throws the swords down. He's like, nah, nigga, I want the hands with this nigga. He walks up and you just start mixing this nigga, bro. Literally beating the shit out of this nigga Zeus until the screen turns red. I remember I did this for like three minutes because I thought like, bro, if I stop doing this, am I going to have to restart this fight, bro? I thought I was doing something wrong, but no. You literally beat this nigga bloody until the whole screen is full of blood. It looked like somebody just threw a bunch of tomatoes at you, bro. Look like a fucking plum smoothie on the screen, bro. Like, literally. So after you drown this nigga in his own blood, this nigga Athena shows up and she's like, Kratos, give me the power of what was in the box. This nigga Kratos was like, the box was empty. And Athena was like, no, in the box was hope. This nigga Kratos is like, so basically you want to become what your dad was. Mm, nah, and this nigga tries to smoke himself. And it looks like he... It looks like it worked at first, but anyways, this nigga smokes himself and gives hope to humanity. And that is the way that the game ends, bro. We zoom out. You feel me? There's an end credit scene. And then we come back though. And this nigga's trail of blood made it look like he crawled off the cliff. And we end up getting to God of War 4, but I'm like, how do we get from here to there? I really don't know. And it's neither near or there. It doesn't matter. However, the last thing that we have to talk about, and I know y'all been waiting, and I put it at the end of this because I don't want to get this video demonetized. But bro, every game except for Ascension had a mini game where you have sex with this nigga Kratos and a bunch of bad bitches. Bro, there are sex mini games in this game. Are you really out here clapping bitches, bro? It reminded me of like some Saints Row shit. Remember a Saints Row where you could fuck some bitch and it was like a mini game or like you feel me uh grand theft auto san andreas where you can a bitch in the car and it's a mini game bro there's mini games where you're hmm 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 nigga the god of raw nigga <laughs> not the god of war the god of raw <laughs> no condom like this nigga was going crazy i ain't gonna lie though man uh, this nigga kratos is literally a goat literally the fader of gods literally the god of smoke whatever you want to call him it's that nigga bro the pale avenger himself bro this nigga kratos is a Baba demon <sighs> also um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot uh, make sure you subscribe it really means a lot and and thank you likewise for sponsoring this video bro y'all really dropped the bag on me make sure y'all go down you feel me the link in the description you feel me and join it likewise man be a part of my group and all that you know you helping me out you helping them out <sighs> anyways man love you guys so much yo yo kratos yo, yo i ain't gonna lie i'm trying to be the god of raw too